right, you guys can sit anywhere up here. Good morning, Joshua, Titus, hi, Priscilla. Morning, Stephen. Morning, Ali. It's so good to see all of you guys here this morning and for us to be able to be here uh, together. Well, I'm wondering, kids, do you guys have a good memory? Blank looks. Do you have a, a good brain? Blank looks. Okay, we'll, we'll warm up the brains a little bit. I'm going to read you one Bible verse, and then there's going to be a small test. But it won't be that hard of a test, okay? But it'll be just a small test, okay? So let's think, and let's read this together. You guys probably know this verse. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Do you think you guys can memorize that? Is that a lot of words? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay, test. Can you guys say it? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay, with a mask, it's hard for me to tell, but I see, I see some movement. <laughs> okay, uh, another question. What is a shepherd? Titus, what is a shepherd? A person who takes care of sheep. Very, very good. Okay. And, uh, okay, so this might be an example of a shepherd. And you can imagine maybe in Bible times, this is what a shepherd would do. They would have maybe a big flock of sheep and need to take care of all of them. Okay. Next test from this Bible verse. Who is the shepherd? Joshua. Jesus. Yes. Oh, that, that's very deep, actually. But yes, Jesus is the shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Jesus is also a shepherd. So that question is easier. Uh, who is the sheep? Who is the sheep? You are? People. People? We are? Yes. We are actually sheep as well. And so if you know a little bit about sheep, they can get lost. They don't always know how to feed themselves. They don't always know how to find water. So when we look at Psalm 23, we're going to be learning about the idea that God is actually our shepherd. And this is what our whole church is named after, actually. And so do you guys see the green banner over there? Look there. See the Good Shepherd? This is what our church is actually named after, Church of the Good Shepherd. And if you go to our beautiful website, kind of new website, you'll see our name is Good Shepherd Vancouver. Do you know what that means, actually? Every single person you've seen this morning is not just a person. Do you know what they also are? <laughs> no. Kind of shepherds, right? They're also sheep. So I was thinking through, if I looked at our website, these might all look like very refined, very, you know, uh, wonderful, wonderful people. Did you know every single one of these people is also a sheep? So let's, let's, let's change our, our website a little bit, okay? Why don't we, okay, I can be, do you guys remember Sean the sheep? Okay. What about, oh, John stepped out a little bit. He was here a little bit early. Let's give John a sheep face also. Is that, is that a good one for him? What about Archie? Is Archie a person? <laughs> he is, but he's also a sheep. I thought that one suited Archie. Oh, Titus, this one's for your dad, okay? <laughs> and we have Reverend Angel. Guess what? She's also a sheep like us. Uh, Selena gave one. Oh, what should we give to Alvin? Okay, this is a very cute sheep, I thought. And there's only one face missing here. Bishop Stephen's on holidays. But do you know while he's on holidays, he's also a sheep. And what this reminds us, it doesn't matter how old or young you are at this church, how tall or how small you are, the spiritual truth, what the Bible is trying to tell us is we're all sheep and we all need God to care for us. And so that's really, really important. I hope you can remember this. And this is a little visual for us to remember. So uh, children, let's pray together, uh, remembering uh, that we actually all need God to shepherd us uh, together. So church, would you join us? And children, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you are the shepherd of all of us. Thank you that you know us by name. Help us follow you trust you, and love you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thanks, kids. You can go back to your seats now for the sermon.